Hello, my name is Ben Lovegrove and here is this week's roundup of aviation news from high altitude to below 400 feet. In this edition, Microsoft begins test flights of self-flying gliders. Delivery by drone, the patents filed are increasing. Award-winning Honda Jet continues to impress and General Aviation Piston-Engined Aircraft's sales report. Chocks away then. It's well known that with the right conditions and exemplary piloting skills, gliders can stay aloft for hours on end. The current world records for free distance flights include flights of thousands of miles. Microsoft has now begun testing self-flying gliders in airspace outside Reno in Nevada. There are two test gliders at the moment, one with a 6-foot wingspan and another with a 16-foot wingspan. The clever part is the artificial intelligence that determines the optimal flight manoeuvres to keep the aircraft aloft. The AI senses the changes in the atmosphere, then makes its own decisions. It will turn left or right, climb or descend, based on the information it processes. This is exactly what a glider pilot's brain does, but the difference is that the AI is designed to predict where the next thermal updraft will appear. When we have more on this subject, we'll let you know. So if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, then do so now to stay informed. Delivery by drone is a hot topic, and in some places it's already a reality. In a previous Aviation Weekly, we mentioned how a company called Zipline are using drones to deliver medicines to remote areas of Rwanda. However, we have yet to see a viable domestic delivery service by drone, but the day is drawing closer. Amazon have filed dozens of patents lately. They include hive-like delivery centers, delivery by parachute, flying warehouses, and a virtual safety shroud designed to switch off rotors when they sense they are close to objects. The remaining rotors are configured to increase their output to compensate for the loss of lift. IBM are also researching in this area. They have filed a patent for a drone-to-drone -drone package transfer mechanism. It's designed to enable the transfer of a delivery item from one drone to another, thus extending the flight time. I guess you could call it a drone relay system. Next, the Honda Jet won the Flying Innovation Award at AirVenture 2017 and has just announced that it shipped 24 aircraft to customers in the USA and Europe during the first half of 2017. Buyers are impressed by the aircraft's performance, comfort and superior finish according to the company's CEO. Honda Jet's website claims their aircraft is faster than any business jet in its class with a maximum cruise speed of 422 knots at 30,000 feet. It describes the interior as a workspace, thinking space, quiet space and a relaxing space. It has a range of 1,350 miles, can fly up to 450 miles per hour and requires a takeoff distance of 950 meters. The aircraft was certified in December 2015 after a 10-year development cycle. And finally, shipments of piston aircraft are up in the first half of 2017, according to the General Aviation Manufacturers Association. Aircraft producers in the USA did well, with a 6.7 increase on the same period last year. Cessna did very well, by increasing its shipments from 65 to 98 aircraft, an increase of nearly 50%. The turboprop market dropped slightly after a two-year run of growth. The bizjet market saw an increase, mainly due to the sales of the previously mentioned Honda jets. Let us know in the comments below if you've spotted any new Cessna Skylanes, Skyhawks or Honda jets on your travels or at your local airfield. That's all for this edition, so subscribe to my channel for the next. This was a Redspan Solutions production. Head over to redspan.com to find out how we can make internet marketing videos 
for your aviation business.